you're anything like me, I have to have my options. She'll be finding them for years. There's a saying, kill your darlings. Well, hello, all of you beautiful boho-ish souls. My name is Cherie, and this is Boho-ish Me. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Well, good morning. I am not at home. I am house sitting for our youngest and her hubby while they are out of town. I'm house sitting for like a week. They have two kitties. So I get to spend time with my grand kitties, but I'm used to my puppers who sleep all night where the kitties sleep all day and are up all night. So, coffee. So like I said, I'm house sitting for my kiddo. Today is Tuesday morning. Really yesterday, all I did was just chill. I did do some art. I brought my art, you know, little pieces and parts so that I could work on it. It's so hard when I house sit for them because I never know what it is I'm gonna wanna do. They live in <clears throat> Riverside, which is an amazing area. It's very artsy, very millennial. <laughs> you know, you have the young professionals like my kids, and then you have all of the very uh, free-spirited, very artsy crowd, very old homes that are on the register and um, the most amazing restaurants and shops and it's just a wonderful place to be there's so much to do within walking distance or bike riding uh, right on the river it's just amazing but yesterday i just stayed in all day i think i was still recouping from the cluster migraine because believe it or not i had another one and so yesterday i again was going through that whole kind of migraine hangover thing. And I was just so fatigued, just so exhausted. So yeah, I did nothing yesterday, <laughs> except I did work on some art. Oh, but what I was trying to say was, it can be difficult because I never know what it is I'm gonna wanna do because you're anything like me. I have to have my options. And I love being at home <clears throat> because all my options are there. I mean, you know, there's just so much to do. So when I know that I'm going to be gone for several days, I just, I kind of get in a panic because if I don't, if, if I have this urge to do something and I can't do it, then I almost feel like trapped, you know? So of course I brought my Rebecca. I'm reading Rebecca. Those of you that are reading along, let me know how far you are and if you're enjoying it, if you've never read it before. And of course I brought a couple of other books as well and I brought some art. So like my coloring pencils and some coloring books, things like that, just so I can have some options to do stuff. You just sit in pretty opal. You beautiful girl. <laughs> I love being at my daughter's house. She has a very cottagey, a very millennial, millennialist she's gen z right on the cusp but she's very millennial in her aesthetic she's very modern i'd say modern cottage she loves a little bit of touches of boho um she loves mid-century modern that whole thing but anyway i don't even know why i got into all of that So this is where I'm doing my art and my little makeshift art area. <laughs> this is a piece I started yesterday, nowhere near finished. This piece I had worked on for a few days. I am maybe finished with that. I'm still kind of sitting on it and seeing 
I think this one is finally finished. And that's the thing about our, what you first put down is not gonna be where it ends up. So kind of like with writing, um, there's a saying, kill your darlings. And I think that that applies very well to creating art as well. You can't be so in love with something so early on because more than likely, it's just not going to remain that way. You have to be willing to just move through it and uh, see what else needs to be said. So she knows I love blueberry muffins, and so she got me these really great blueberry muffins from Trader Joe's. They are amazing. I'm going to eat every last crumb. Are you comfortable there, Opal? Look at that pretty face. Oh, you're so pretty. Today is going to be a two cupper kind of day. I can feel it. <laughs> uh oh, no. Oh, my pain is up there. <sighs> so I'm a bit of a naughty mommy. <laughs> um, I saw this thing this uh, video of a mom and her son who were staying at the grandparents' house. And they had bought, I don't know, something like 2,000 little mini ducks. And they put them all over the house for the grandparents to find. And I thought that was so stinking adorable. So yeah, I found 250 of these resin hearts and I've kind of been tucking them in various places throughout the house, so she'll be finding them for quite some time. So if you see this, boo, <laughs> I'm not showing where I'm putting them. Just know that they're hearts, and so every time you find one, it's me telling you I love you. She'll be finding them for years. So she asked me if I wanted this old teeny tiny little desk and I said uh, yeah and I think it would be perfect for my art supplies because I can put all my brushes in this drawer um, I'm gonna repaint it uh, it has some wax and stuff on it from where there were candles um, but I think that would be really cute I can put baskets underneath I can put my um, painting tools in the drawer and then I can keep my paints and stuff on top. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. And I think I know exactly where it's gonna go. Well, the deed is done. <laughs> I've put the hearts all over. Some she'll find pretty quickly. Others, not so much. My daughter loves matcha and she had some matcha latte mix. So I thought I would try that because when in Rome, so I thought I'd see if this is something that I can live with or can't live without. Oh gosh, I'm so tired, y'all. <laughs> y'all know what I mean though. Can I live? This is gonna bother me. These brain toots are like crazy. Will I need this in my life? Well, I'm telling you that I actually am digging it. So I think it's gonna go on my list, my grocery list. Today, I think I'm not gonna pull out my art. I already packed all that up last night, cleaned my brushes, all the things, my tools, and I think I'm just going to read today. And then I go home this evening I miss my puppers so much. I love my grandkitties, I love them. But I miss my puppers. 
I miss my Vicky and Ziggy. I talked to them last night. Don't laugh. I miss the Ravens. I miss Ophelia, but Sean's been taking care of the homestead. <laughs> so everything should be good. But I know they'll be excited to see me and I cannot wait to see them. So I don't have a before, but I have an after. I <laughs> rearranged the bookshelf for her. She had all the books like on the bottom three and I just kind of wanted to space it out for her. I did ask her first. I didn't just assume and make changes. I don't do that. But I like how it turned out. I wish I had a plant for the top. So I guess I need to put that on my agenda. I need to find something to go on the top of her bookshelf. love when I border things for them and this is one of the pieces I did for my youngest um, a couple of Christmases ago it's it's just a loose interpretation of Rita and I love it I think it turned out really really cute this was in a series there were three of them i don't know where the other two are i think they may have fallen and broke the glass broke um so she needs to get them reframed but that's another embroidery that i did for her First started slow stitching um i did this little landscape for her and i think it's it's really cute she loved it there's a lot of glare but this is one of the paintings that I showed y'all in the last video that I had, she had asked me to do for her. This was her wedding wreath, one of the wedding wreaths that was in the centerpiece um, on the platform when they were getting married. Um, it got, it's gotten a little cattywampus over the last <laughs> few years. Um, but yeah, I did all the florals for her wedding. I think it turned out really pretty and she loves this and she wanted to hang it up in her home. This was her wedding bouquet and she put it in this beautiful ginger jar that belonged to my aunt and I think it looks really nice. It was a stunning, stunning bouquet. I'll show you some of the pictures of the florals. flowers she wanted something that she could keep and uh, so yeah so I made all the bouquets I made all the florals and um, I made a mini one for her to toss she was very pleased and that's what meant more than anything Opal, what's wrong? Are you having an existential crisis? This is like the most perfect outfit of the day mirror. <laughs> it used to be mine. Excuse me. These are not pajamas. This is loungewear, my fuzzy black slippers. But it was all gilded <clears throat> gold and I painted it this cross between like a sagey green and maybe like a turquoise, I don't know. I just liked the color and I just didn't have room for it anymore. And she loves it, which I'm so glad because I don't want it to go anywhere. I told her if she ever didn't want it anymore, I will make a place for it, but I just love it. And I think it looks so good in here. They are like, the cutest. <laughs> Do you love one another? Opal. 
Look at that. You guys are beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little different. It was a little slow, a little chill. But to be honest with you, I kind of needed that in my life this week. And uh, yeah, I'm home now. And the puppers were very happy to see me, as were the ravens. So everything gets back to normal now. If you've been enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. And if you do, don't forget to boot the bell. Also, comments and thumbs up go a long way to helping this little channel. Remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Until next time, bye. Hello, little baby. Hello. You need a